Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a screenwriter's rant on Day of the Dead, the TV series from Sci-Fi. Now this is being billed as a tribute to George Romero, uh, which is good. And I gotta say that it looks pretty good. It looks to be in the right, it looks to have the right tone, you know, for zombie apocalypse stuff. It's very bloody, very bloody. Um, it's got a bit of a sense of humor to it. It's got all the, see, it's sci-fi. An ode to George Romero, the godfather of zombies. Um, this is a, a wedding that gets uh, attacked by the zombies. And there's a great line. He says, what a waste of $50,000. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, is that Sharon Doherty? Is that her name? No. What's the other one? The other hot chick. What, uh, I can't think of her name. Anyhow, um, usual craziness. The, they, they had to kill a zombie at a funeral. Uh, here's a guy getting attacked by a zombie from behind. Um, so, I mean, it looks, it looks decent. I'll say this, though. There's a lot of cursing in this trailer. Which, ooh, October. A lot of cursing. Now, that to me indicates sometimes, not always, but sometimes the writers substitute the cursing for comedy, right? They, they do a lot of cursing because they, they don't have any ideas, and that's the only way to make it sort of sound more intense than it is. But that being said, I, I mean, the effects look incredible. I mean, you got zombies exploding. They had a scene with a and this is in the trailer. They see a guy drives a truck into a zombie. It just explodes. The guy's blowing their heads off. The whole thing. The whole thing. Guys getting their guts ripped out while they're... Rah! I mean, it's pretty intense. Now, Day of the Dead, for those of you who don't know, it was Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and Day of the Dead. Those were the three. That was the tr original trilogy. Uh, Night of the Living Dead, of course, is the classic. It takes place in the house, it's in black and white, where everybody's trapped. Uh, Dawn of the Dead takes place in the mall. And then Day of the Dead kind of takes place, it's about people who escape to an island. It takes place at this compound. By that time, they're fighting the zombies openly. They've got a little, little ranch set up. And uh, it's about how it all falls apart, and they, they eventually escape. But um, So this, I guess, is based on that, but really... They're just, I think they're just using the title to get you to watch the series. I gotta say, the zombies look good and it'll be fun. You know, the problem with long-term zombie stuff is the same problem. The same problem that Walking Dead had, you know, even beyond all its other friggin' problems. Um, that is, what do you do after the zombie outbreak? That's the fun part, right? Like, everything goes crazy, like... Suddenly you're seeing zombies everywhere, everywhere, everyone's running, it's a zombie's apocalypse. At some point that settles out, right? That settles to, you've got people who are dead and that and roaming around, and you've got people who are alive and who are surviving. And then that's another thing, but, you know, after a while that gets boring and that's part of the problem. One of the things I'd like to see in a, in a movie like this is the the that they've never done is how they eventually defeat the zombies, right? Because typically in a zombie apocalypse movie, it's all about, you know, there's no real way to win. Everybody dies, which is, you know, a horror movie staple. But I would like to see a group of smart characters actually beat the zombies and, you know, win the day, win the day and like actually come up with a plan to wipe them out. Now, there was, um, I guess it was a Vietnamese, I want to say, zombie movie where they cured them, which was kind of interesting, and everybody goes back to normal somehow. Um, but I would like to see one where they they just wipe them out and then, you know, they rebuild society. It'd be kind of cool. But um, there's only so much you can do with this stuff, and it's fun. I would probably watch this. I mean, it's on sci-fi. I don't have it anymore. I would certainly watch the first few episodes. I'm sure they're going to be awesome. But, you know, as a series, how long are you going to drag this out? You know, and really, the, the tribute to Romero should be 
his uh, metaphors that are you know in the subtext of a lot of the stuff he wrote that's what really put him head and shoulders above other people you know there would all, always be this subtext that was in his movies and the ending of night of the living dead gives you a perfect example as well as um the crazies crazies is a really interesting one um so yeah this uh, this will probably be good it looks good i think it'll be fun uh for a while you know until i mean sci-fi and my experience with sci-fi is they do movie, they do good stuff for a while, and then the money starts running out, and they just start cutting back. I mean, they did Z Nation, so I think for a while this will be fun, and then after a while it'll just get boring. And like, what else are you gonna do at this point? You know, you have to be very creative after a while to sustain a concept like this, because once everybody's on board, you know, it's it's kind of something that it's got to end. Either everybody dies or they win. They figure out how to kill them. So it's very difficult to keep it smart and have the guys not win or keep it dark and have the guys not totally lose. Either way, there has to be an ending. So that's my only thing with this. It'll probably be very popular and then they'll just drag it on too long and then you know, you'll know you be in season five going, ugh. <laughs> I thought they killed all these guys. Where do these zombies keep coming from? So uh, that's it for me and little Joan today. Um, check us out on BitChute and Rumble because we have two other videos. You're only getting half your little Joan. You don't want half a little Joan. You want all a little Joan. Or four, we do four videos a day. Well, little Joan doesn't do any of the work. I got to do all the heavy lifting. But So check us out on BitChute and Rumble, and we'll see you tomorrow.